Good evening, friends. Thank you for joining Candidina every evening as, uh, uh, to follow what's happening in India and abroad. And thank you for sending me your useful comments and suggestions. If you believe in this channel, do hit, hit the like button, share with your friends and spread the message. Our only mission is to bring you the truth and both sides of the story. Thank you for your support. Today we have Deepti back with us. Welcome, Deepti. Namaste, Meenaji. Yeah. So today yes. Deepti is uh, uh, reading the English version of the yes uh, English, version. English version. It's more up. It's more up to date with uh, my progress of decoding the drives. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's up to date with that. Hindi we have started late. Yeah. And we are covering up the old sessions which we did in English already. Yeah. And as I'm saying, the cyber attacks on the drives are increasing day by day. On my devices, Minaji, on an average yeah. basis since past few days, there have been continuous attacks trying to get into my network, trying to get into my call records and all. And and also since this is related to, uh, you know, digital uh, data, Sushant's drives and all are yeah. related to yeah. digital. So they are trying to get into my uh, system, my laptop, my devices. So continuous cyber attacks are happening. And not only that, the last time when I went to Bangalore, Miraji, uh, it was because of your show. What happened was that one of my uh, one of my team members, we were supposed to meet three, four people were supposed to meet. Uh, three managed to stay low, but one again Dhruva, he got caught and he was harassed in the police station, as I said, Madhulwada. Yeah. yeah. So after, as soon as your show got over, few people uh, went to the police station and one Karthik spoke to me on call and said, Deepthi, you don't worry, we will take care. We'll get your man out in 15 minutes. And apparently they raised a human cry outside the IG office, not. Mm. And one advocate, uh, Arjun Ranganathan, sir, he came from somewhere. He said that one of uh, the viewers informed his, my sister and I have come on from them for, on their behalf. And uh, he spoke with the police and he made sure that all the dummy FIRs or the whatever dummy cases that were being planted on my people, they were quashed. Yeah. So help is coming. Yeah. And it, it, it was a miracle actually. After right, right after your show, it happened, went on till two o'clock. Uh -huh. Okay. So many people came in support and uh, they didn't want to be named strangely, but uh, okay. a lot of people came for support and uh, did give a helping hand to one of my team members. Great. Uh, yeah. yeah. If Shushant, really if Shushant was there, he would have been proud of proud to see uh, <laughs> yeah. what happened that day. Yeah, that's really okay. good. So yeah, this is the change he wanted to bring in the uh, people. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Okay. So I think okay, Minaji. Can start. Yeah, I yeah. will start. I will start. And again, today also there will be a lot of explosive information. I will just uh, start from the last sentence I left. I will repeat the last sentence again, Minaji, that I okay. left in the last okay. session. Okay. okay. Because it is a continuation. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, so, they have no end point. They can fall down to any extent if the matter is related to them. And this is well explained. And this has happened in front of our eyes almost on every instance. It is just that we are blind. We were blind. And we couldn't see it. This is one thing which kept repeating on and on and on. And we were blinded reading out the laurels that were told about these people in the media and other public platforms that were readily available for people. This has been the game plan. This has been the strategy. Do all the bad things, do all the negative things, then come back strong with a massive image building program, which can set the stats right. Check what do the reports say? And let me give a classic example now. Sanjay Dutt. Sanjay Dutt had massive amounts of cases on him. The word that was spread about him is that Sanjay Dutt is a soft-hearted, great human being and never has the habit of telling no to anyone who approaches him for help. He is so careless about his own finances that now in order to ensure that Sanju Baba has a track on his money and is not made a fool of, Sunil Shetty's wife handles his finances for him. I'm not sure how many of you have read this report, but the fact is that this was done just to give Sanjay Dutt the image of a Tanvir like Karna from Mahar Mahabharat, Amir Khan. This was a classic example of how big fools we were. Amir kept on talking ill about the country, and he was constantly he was constantly telling that 
he is not feeling secure he is not feeling secure but then what happens amir khan comes up hosting a show satyameva jayate which is a pro india type of show and there he speaks about stuff like atithi devo bhava and what not and the public of the country fall trap again the one thing which i can now say that the british learned from the mafia is divide and rule and marketing strategies too if we carefully go down the pages of our history our practices our culture and also ayurveda was very much sufficient in keeping us healthy happy and satisfied the the british saw that this cannot give them the upper hand or make us dependent on them and introduced a whole bunch of their products this was back then but what is happening now the same companies who once were making fun of our habits have now come back with similar ingredients in their chemical products and we still do not want to understand that the more we fall for propaganda and marketing strategies the more we are causing harm to ourselves this is what we need to understand and digest and if possible it is not rocket science go back to your elders pull your history books out read what you can visit some library first read a book from one historian then try and read another book both the books will show you two different versions let me explain this by giving this example out the epics ramayan and mahabharat was shown on television in the 1990s and the stories that were told back then did make some sense to us and this was what we could say at least close to reality if not the complete reality but what is happening these days i think is a mockery of mythology no i do not want to create any controversy but yes let's learn the facts out and yes if anyone is feeling offended here i do apologize but all i want to say is that this is the way our history is being played with and our epics are made fun of the death of poundrak the original story as mentioned in the mahabharat is that poundrak is a king of poundrak nagri and fakes to be the real krishna he challenges krishna for a war and is killed by krishna when lord shri krishna uses his sudarshan chakra to chop his head off in a war a full fledged war but in the television series Surya Putra Karna episode 216 onwards aired on 14th April 2016 on television see how the entire incident is shown i just couldn't make the connection to what is it that the creators were trying to do to the best of my knowledge nothing like this ever happened and it was mockery of mythology the death of karna the stories that were told to us from childhood always said that it was much later after the death of karna and once the war had actually stopped that was the time when pandavas came to know that karna was their brother when they saw their mother weeping next to the dead body of karna but what is shown in this television series again is another huge confusion that is created when mythology tells a totally different story nakul sahadev heel karna when his kavach and kundal are taken away another wrong characterization shown in the series when the original story says that as soon as karna lost his kavach and kundal he got the celestial vasavi shakti from lord indra and lord indra healed him of his wounds and there was no fight between indra and arjuna and arjuna never had any idea about the weapon vasavi shakti that was given to karna because in the original mahabharat there is one beautiful explanation where lord krishna tells arjuna why he was not letting him fight karna for all this while when the entire pandava army was crying on the death of ghatotkach i am not trying to create any controversy here but all that i am trying to say is that our history books have been manipulated they have been molded and remodeled just to read out or rather tell the people what agenda that mafia mafia wants the people to know i have no hate or feelings of ill or grudge on anyone and the best way this could be explained according to me after fighting a long and deep battle within myself is the way i just did now
just spare some time and watch these episodes then read the holy scriptures at home you will get to know the truth and how some such facts are manipulated and the reason given to it is creativity there are so many such television series where history was made a mockery of and it is well known to most of us still we chose to stay stay silent and that is what is causing the maximum damage that is what is creating the negative impact in the society and this is what is ruining our culture not just this a lot of things that follow to are creating much much more damage i don't want to go in detail here because i would just be wasting time it is everyone's responsibility to put their own effort in the quest of knowledge i have done my bit by giving a small example and my intention behind this was very simple i just wanted to ensure that what i wanted to say i had a picturization on it and this picturization should connect to the common man instantly no ill feelings or hatred on anyone or any company or production house whatsoever i am not endorsing the sagars nor the chopras ramanand sagar ramayan slash shri krishna television series br chopra mahabharat television series ramanand sagar family too has some dirty truths behind their name i shall come to it so does the chopra family the only message i wanted to share here is do not believe do not believe everything that you see and please make sure that your kids do not have the wrong knowledge about mythology the television series that were on air and are going to come on air or are on air is making a mockery of our culture on the name of creative demonstrative and creative visualization and this has to stop else it would be a big joke on the religious history of our rich cultural lineage continuing with the topic on hand how did mahajan trust you so much mahajan trusted me so much because i was very close to him right from my very early days it is not just me but a lot of people from my family were connected to the mahajans and we were loyal to them from the time of their forefathers let me stress this point here if i am alive when i am bringing this out i will ensure that i will take all the needed safety measures to ensure that innocent people are not harassed but if i am not and someone is reading this the only request i got to make is that please be very very sensible on how you are going to handle this issue here this point the answer to this question can put someone's life in danger and let me confess here there was one instance where i told that this man gave me one such instance which forced me to believe him in one of the earlier slides when he gave me the date properly 8th within brackets making a mention to parvin babi's staff who was explaining the series of events we were satisfied that we were not being made fun of or it was not the case wherein these people have sent their own people to us as informers to make sure we make a mockery out of ourselves we were laying our hands on authentic informations and we were on the right track moving further the man said now what i am going to tell you sir will actually show you how big and dirty these people are how well they support each other when they want to make a mockery of the system and let me tell you beforehand this chapter will also tell you some truths about why jio was giving free usage to every user during its launch this is the version this man gave out and i find so much sense in it and a lot of questions that i had in my mind were answered when i heard him say the things he told during the course of him telling the happening around that time to me let's start i had told the entire story around ibsl infotel broadband services limited some time back and i do not want to go there what i want to now take up is the chapter wherein first i will go ahead and write down everything this man told me and then gave me 
this man told me and then give my analysis around this as to what i could conclude let me make one point very clear here this is my analysis and what my brain told me could be the best possible scenario after going through each word of what was told to me this doesn't necessarily need to be the final truth you people are free to make your own choices and get to your own conclusions but for me my task is to bring out the truth and keep it in front of you i will do that whatever i am going to derive out of it i shall make clear mention to it so that nobody is confused my conclusions on the chapter and your conclusions on the chapter can vary and yes i agree it should vary because when god has given us a brain there are possibilities that our conclusions can vary but that cannot change the fact or alter the truth the truth is as it is with its own conclusion with its own explanation it is up to us to derive from it digest understand and implement what we have understood and this is a tough ask because the only thing that can hamper the progress of this mission is if we impose our thinking on others everyone has their own brain and think for themselves and if someone is not able to do this then i would say the person should first learn to do this before even talking one word or taking a single step in this direction this chapter is very very deep and has a lot of hidden meanings and connections and yet can blow up our conventional belief system as some names that are going to come out during the course of this chapter is going to shake up everyone's belief system at least it shook my belief system and make us realize that we were fools who got played into these dirty games and were never aware what was happening around us despite everything that was happening around us gave loud alarms and was screaming of a bigger propaganda to follow unfortunately back then we were not much aware of all this but now when i got to hear about all this i concluded that these things these truths have to come out in the eyes of the general public so that the games that were played in order to hide crimes are exposed and people come out shooting questions and taking matters into their own hands wake up o oh citizen of my motherland wake up from your slumber stand for yourself if you do not stand for yourself today you will be in deep deep problems in the near future where you will have only yourself to blame wake up realize that you are being played with wake up and understand the games that are being played around you learn to look through the things that are happening around you is it not your duty to give a secure future to your kids what is wrong with you why do you want to still close your eyes and behave as if nothing has happened wake up before it is too late else you will have only yourself to blame let's begin the chapter hold on to your seats and be rest assured that you are in for a huge shock i did get a big shock this chapter indeed is very very deep and i will have to ensure that i go categorically and systematically here one wrong word from me and the entire chapter will blow to winds that's how crucial this chapter is i want to start the chapter independently on a different slide to ensure that i cover most of the information in each slide that's why i'm giving some explanation here before i start the chapter yes i agree by doing this every time i might sound boring or this might look as if i am narrating a story but the fact remains that i need to ensure that the information that i give makes complete sense and the common man understands it without giving too much exercise to his brain and i'm trying to ensure that i keep it very simple and straight so that the common man understands each and every word in it and connects to it instantly and this is possible only if i ensure that i cover the topics properly and in a chronological order i am sorry if i am boring you while reading this but this is what i have to do because this is what makes the best impact and make sure that the common man would understand each and every word as he should and he gets the complete picture of the sequence 
when geo was started in 2015 it was a soft launch and not everyone had access to it only the top management of reliance had access to it the reason for this was simple not many know that during this time a strong case on reliance was going from the ongc side and reliance owed huge money to ongc and in order to clear off these dues reliance started working overtime the chemical emissions around the reliance plants needed a solution and the best way to put the blame on something else was by multiplying the network connectivity in that area to achieve this the, to achieve this the reliance management had devised a plan wherein they gave free uses to all its users and the test run was conducted to see how long can this sustain the connectivity on calls and and the other data parameters if it could sync with the host network around the launch if i am not mistaken it was the month of july when prashant bhushan highly questionable character filed a pil and challenged reliance geo in court go and check out for yourself what this pil was and make your own connections this is one exercise which i want everyone to do because one thing which we all need to understand here is that this fight is our own fight this fight is a fight which every individual should take as his own fight unless you want to involve in it totally all by yourself there is no point you do anything about whatever comes up in front of you for me these points following points matter more than anything else what is the effort one has put what were the steps taken when an issue was at hand what were the preparations made how involved can one be in matters which are of least concern to them directly remember these scams frauds and other manipulations that are happening might not be directly connected to you but indirectly yes these play a major impact with you when it comes back to you in one form or the other and the forms in which these issues hit you are when a loan is been waived off the funds is been given by the bank from the profits the bank incurs this can directly affect the mutual funds and other investment markets that have been going down at this rate in the recent past government increasing the value of daily use products these bad ratings play a major role in the public utility services as well when it comes to a stage where a decision has to be taken rbi takes the biggest hit which means directly or indirectly the government treasury too is taking a hit and when this happens there is no other way to get back normal than to increase taxes and other prices so that the balance can be maintained and this is how we get affected the man went ahead not many know the real story of the formation of reliance geo and what were the major games that were played during this time to understand all this the parameters that we need to look into are the following the mix ups that were happening in the share market the formation isbl in 2007 and the happenings around it the clash with hutch vodafone back then was called hutch the point where mahajan interfered to put a check on some happenings and the reason he was removed from his post though it was shown as a step down the environmental hazards that happened during this time the clash that was initially scripted not many know reliance communication was the brain child of mukesh ambani and mukesh ambani was always interested in the telecom sector through an in-house deal communications went to anil and there was a mutual agreement that the elder brother should not step into the telecom industry which was to be obliged but then but then there were a lot of confusions and other parameters here which were slowly beginning to take shape how mukesh ambani played a major role in setting up the doom for reliance communication the initial hiccups that were faced and how the counter was set the other issues which came into the picture and the ever rising threat on reliance operated chemical plants 
the scams that happened around this time, the connection this had with the assassination attempt on Nasli Vadia. Yet again, here the man went ahead and said that if Mahajan lived for a week more, he would expose a lot of things and get all these people behind the bars. But then he was bumped off. When I am telling you all this today, you might feel I am scripting a story or trying to create a controversy. But the fact here is that I am just trying to make sure that I am giving you all the information I have and making sure that I have given you most of the information to the best of my knowledge. Had Mahajan not announced his counter-attack, he could have achieved what he wanted to in the utmost smooth manner. But the biggest mistake he did was he blurted out. And this was one of the biggest reasons Mahajan scripted his own fall. Now to get back to the matter, every incident is, every incident is interconnected. And what are those connections? Let me explain them to you systematically. The only reasons the Ambani's had a upper hand in the Vadia case was that there was no recordings or conversations that happened in between them from the time Nasli Vadia claimed that there was an attack on him and later Kriti Ambani was arrested. But then in the last half of 2005, when Mahajan was discussing some other thing with a top business magnet, he blurted out that it is because of MTNL, it is because of MTNL, Ambani's are safe. And Ambani's have a very strong connection with some top people in Congress and Samajwadi Party and Jantadal, within brackets Lalu Yadav. And they pay huge money to ensure they are safe. Taking a break from the man's words, till now I thought the man was bluffing. But then when I happened to run my eyes through the internet, I got to find out one news article published on Indian Express dated August 27, 2017. The link to the news article is as follows. Read it out and get it and get to your own conclusions. I don't find it right to feed my understandings to you. And yes, here one more huge nexus broke out, which I would explain immediately after sharing the link to the article I got my eyes on. The link to the article is as follows. Then he gave a link, Minaji. I've shared the link uh, on the slides. Okay. 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 It's uh, okay. HTTPS. Uh, www.google.com dot am cities mumbai conspiracy to murder nasli vadia just yeah. you can people can people can google conspiracy to conspiracy to murder, murder nasli vadia and they will get the link on the internet actually tom jerry is asking uh, the reference of mahajan ssr is making here is he talking about pramod mahajan yeah. yeah yeah and he is quoting the source he is not yeah. saying that mahajan spoke to him or his yeah. family is so he is quoting what he heard from the source who was yeah. telling about Mahajan. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can get the entire link here. Click on this link and read the entire story. Then get back and do your own conclusions for yourself. I have my own learnings here. I will give them out once I am done with the entire chapter. And the new angle here, which Mahajan was made aware of by this big shot. The name of this big shot was Kumar Mangalam Birla and the connection was to the Jain Diaries wherein some of the top names of the country were mentioned. I will take the names out here and shall explain all the connected incidents around these names so that everything comes out crystal clear on paper and the whole world would know the entire truth about how our country is being looted by these businessmen whose clothes only are white and they have scam written all over them in all possible angles and scenarios. And this is one of the biggest curse that our nation has, as I had said earlier, that these issues will make your belief system go for a toss. And also had said there was a definite connection to some dirty chapters that had the name of Ramanand Sagar involved in them. Here now, I will start the chapter and leave it up to you people to decide how you would like to conclude this chapter and what would your next course of action be. Because for me, 
this is not acceptable and i am not able to make sense as to why are we the citizens of our country silent let me put out all that i had heard and put my efforts rest i leave it up to you people and your own intellect and your decisions that you want to take in this context i am no one to force anyone or give out my readings and understandings i have understood a lot of things in this journey and will channelize my actions based on what i have learned i leave it up to you people to conclude what you want to do and how you want to because as i keep saying this is each one individual fight each of these stories are interlinked and connected to each other and nothing can be done unless you put an effort towards it yourself ramanand sagar and his family moti sagar in particular had strong contacts in uk and was successfully running a pawn shop there this shop was a pawn shop just for the eyes of the public but in real there was every activity happening here right from hawala to conversion of black money to white and how was this happening there is another huge story attached to it let's learn what is the story and let's prepare ourselves to actually understand what was happening the easiest way which we all know where we can actually convert some money and use it is if we have gold and we place the gold and the golden reason we can give while pledging gold is that this is old gold which i got from my family members and i am pledging it now because i want money there are so many pawn brokers out there who will give you gold melt who will give you gold melt the gold and sell the gold and you have your gold without any bill or receipt top businessmen play it both ways invest money and buy gold in black pay money and purchase gold in white and if you have closely noted the pattern the moment there is a marriage or a function in the family as soon as the function is over a big deal is signed follow most of the marriages in the top business families of our country and check for this pattern you will find the necessary connections you need to make the main persons who were in connections here were riyaz bhatti and ahmed patel who were making sure that the free flow of funds happened in such a way that there was no problem whatsoever to anyone around it and the entire game plan was set in such a way that everyone was benefited but what were the connections that is unknown to me but if you guys can dig a little deeper into these hawala files you will have a lot more truth which you can uncover within no time and you will understand for yourself how deep the racket is these business rivalries are only for the public eye and remember if some outsider tries to chip in and study the pattern then the entire nexus will become one and the first target would be to negate the risks they could face from this outsider and the plans are made and instantly put into action so that there is no problem whatsoever to anyone whoever is in the contention now getting back to the support which mahajan wanted to give ravinder patil and the reason why mahajan was struck into this is because of salman khan the reason being very simple i had explained in an earlier instance that salman had an ongoing affair with one top royal family of rajasthan and the top family of rajasthan was closely connected to some top politicians in the country i do not need to name anyone here because i trust the people of india at least to be this smart that they can actually make out for themselves which family i am talking about here it was doom for mahajan because if the hit and run would come out then the royal family would have no means to go into negotiations and get their daughter out of the clutches of khan this is all i know and i am not aware of anything more which i could add to this said the person i was in total shock yet again people who were considered as godly figures had a big dirty picture behind their back the pattern was almost the same the way in which they went about the work day after day minute after minute was the same the same people were involved the mind manipulation patterns were the same someone who wanted to come out is eliminated eliminated they have their hands everywhere 
everyone knows about it yet they keep pointing fingers at each other and then play the blame games just imagine if the people who had taken up fights for justice or raised their voice against what was wrong how easy was it to blow all these people up together yet again to give my last words on this chapter i would say till now nothing changed but now things will change i am making an effort to put things in the right perspective and make sure that i document everything and try and get as many proofs as possible and make sure that i keep everything out in the eyes of the public and let the public decide what they want to do how would they want to conclude this ruckus that is happening in this society today after all it is not just my fight it is our fight we have to do it if we have to secure ourselves and our future it is up to us what stand we take because this is just the beginning this will get even more deep and dirty if nothing is done now then there is nothing that can be done they are getting stronger with the passing number of days and years they have unity we do not they have a definite agenda they have the resources they have the manpower they have everything at their disposal the people in power are their friends the opposition are their business partners they have business partners in their firms who are in power they get tickets to rajya sabha and lok sabha they are popular they have a fan following they have strong team to take anyone for a ride if their image is at risk it is just a matter of time for them to put any issue to rest they have all the backing needed to make anyone bite dust they can stoop down to any low they can compromise on the safety of their family their daughters and sisters too sorry for saying this but this is a fact human life is nothing in their dictionary they have 100 plans in place if one of their moves backfire they have good control on public platforms and media the people in top positions socially are well connected to these people you might feel these are repeating points but the thing that i want to point out here is that these are the very points that need to be kept deeply routed in our minds so that we always remember this this is how these people can corner us and make sure they have their upper hand always these are the ways they play with your brain and make sure you are helpless and lose a track of what you are doing or give up on your journey but now we all have to get together hold each other's hand and break these people from their spine this is what they have been doing for ages together but now this has to stop following below what i am now going to speak will again shake our belief system yet again we will see that the people who were involved in all this were the same but the way in which the situation was addressed and the game was played and was totally and the game was played was totally different now the things that i am going to share i can proudly say that for this i have the evidences needed to prove it and this will actually make sure that we start this journey on the right note i am not sure that if the evidences i have will hold good or not in the court of law but to the eyes of the public these evidences will be more than enough actually to see through things the only reason i am saying that i am not sure if these evidences will hold good in court of law is just because in the court of law anything is possible the game can turn any time and there is every possibility for the truth to become farce and for the farce to become truth but on the public platform when i come out with these truths then people will realize that how they were made a fool of and how were their emotions taken for a huge right when you read these following incidents your belief system again will take a huge 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 hit at least mind it and you will realize that it is now or never these people are getting stronger and more and more cunning with every passage of time the issue from ramanand sagar took a deep steep turn when the biggest sporting shock that took the entire world off its feet if you are thinking what i am thinking about here let me tell you the issue that i am now going to take here is the betting scandal 
which had huge names like Hansi Kronje, Mohammad Azruddin, Ajay Jadeja, Herschel Gibbs, Nikki Boye, Peter Stridham. This was just the beginning of a huge scandal which had top names that were involved in the way this entire issue took shape. And the way this entire episode took place has a deep, dirty story to say. And the story it had to say is as follows. And there are some important angles and connections attached to it. Let's decode it now and understand what happened exactly and who were the main kingpins and what was the plan that was discussed after this scandal got exposed, which made even more opportunities for the betting mafia to earn use. Before even I start speaking on this chapter and the most important connection this chapter is going to now make, which I said would be enough for the normal public to understand what the whole game is, one person, Krishan Kumar. This Krishan Kumar is the brother of the late Gulshan Kumar. And when we go deeper into this betting scandal that shook our nation, we will see all the connected links and learn a lot more dirty secrets the elites have been successfully hiding from us for all these years. The main point that we need to note over here is that this scandal was the only one that came out and some top names that were involved were hidden. And the names never came out. Who those names are and what their role was in this scandal, there are some solid connections that I have made based on my work and based on how this person told me all that was happening. As my final statement before I start the chapter, I would like to give this out as my open statement. I have divided this chapter into two parts. One, the actual timeline of all that happened. Two, my findings and conclusions around it. The actual timeline of all this, if reports and other incidents connected to it are to be believed, circles around many issues and some of these issues can create a social outrage. But yes, these issues have some top connections and have been reported in the media, which died down instantly. But yes, if we dig deeper into these incidents, we will know the complete truth or at least can draw that image map in our heads to understand the strategy that was applied. This is a huge chapter. And while I got to hear about this yet again, I got confirmed on one point that these people will take good care of you till you are with them, work for them or doing something good for them. But once you get associated with them, you cannot leave. And if you want to leave, you will be put to rest. Having said all this, let me begin this chapter and let's all try to understand what were the incidents that happened around this time and how well did it aid so many crimes that happened under the garb of this incident. I would invite controversy here, but yes, the one thing that again became more clear to me is that sporting events are no longer sporting events, but entertainment shows and are easy pickings for smuggling. How, what, why, when, where. Let's learn it from the chapter. But before I start, let me make this point clear. Yet again, I'm sorry if I am repeating my words over and over again. But yes, I need to ensure that I keep repeating it because I am the one who has taken this journey up and I'm very well aware that one wrong move from my side can put this entire effort in trouble and can blow up my dream of doing something good to the society. Hence, I need to keep doing this and will keep doing it every time. I have to take a controversial topic up. I will not fear to speak the truth, but will ensure that when I, when I speak the truth, I will make sure I have all the angles covered to it closed so that no one can add wings to it and alter my words to create a confusion. I do not have any enmity with anyone, nor do I hold a grudge on anyone. I have various means to earn a honest, happy, decent and satisfied living for myself. 
so i would not be doing anything with any hidden agenda or motive i have taken up this journey to learn about some truths which have been kept hidden from us and that is all what i fancy i am not interested in anything else nor would be interested in involving myself into any kind of politics or business deals nor would i endorse any political party my interest in taking this up is as simple as this the society should know what are the wrong doings that happened to it and who were the people responsible in all this i will make sure that i have enough material to stand by me when i come out open in the public and the person whose name i am going to take or whom i am going to ask some tough questions i have no enmity against you neither do i have any grudge or ill feelings on you some instances have gotten your name inscribed on it and when you are a public figure it is your duty to give an answer to what the issue was if you have a clean soul then you should not have a problem answering any of this but if you don't then i am no one to decide i leave it up to the public to decide how they would want to how they would like to conclude on what is coming out in front of them if you have done wrong to the society then that wrong doing would be my target not the person about whom i am making a reference to let me now start with the betting incident in context and then let's get to those points which are connected to this betting incident and then conclude how exactly did things conspire the person continued the connection is this ramanand sagar setups in london and their hand in hawala and other anti social activities was going on very very smoothly till the people who were handling different streams under them did not get greedy mahajan ji was very much sure that the sagars were just mere commission agents and it was riyaz bhatti and team who were the real masterminds behind everything what massively backfired when one of the major gambles did not go through as it was planned and things went haywire it all started when a delhi based businessman approached the delhi po- approached the delhi police informing them that he was being harassed on calls to pay an amount of rupees 5 crore when the delhi police began investigations it led them to a d company associate operating from dubai named shaheen hetli when the police began to study this person it led them to krishan kumar this krishan kumar is the brother of gulshan kumar and here began a series of investigations that gave links to some names which had powerful connections with some top business families both in india and abroad mahajan ji was closely connected to this businessman and he was one of the main reasons these investigations were going at a rocket speed as it should because mahajan ji was putting all the pressure that was very much needed on the police to narrow down on the culprits soon as mahajan ji had some personal scores to settle with some people in the syndicate back then mahajan ji initially was doing this only to stamp his authority suddenly there was a break to all this and things started to slow down but then when mahajan ji was forced to step down he went back to this and then took this up more seriously the change of events that took place post mahajan ji getting down from his post was a vicious turn where mahajan ji was carefully ensure ensuring that his name never came out anywhere and people never had any doubts on him whatsoever taking a break from the na- man's words i was a little confused here so i decided to ask the man and the answer that he gave me i was so much satisfied that my inner soul told me this could be the much needed beginning for me to start my journey of bringing the real faces of these cunning jackals in front of the society the betting scandal of 2000 the investigations began later that year in april itself how could mahajan help the investigations when back then he himself was an integral part of it as you told me and he was doing pretty good the person responded the clashes had begun by then but mahajan was very strong i have told you earlier 
Mahajan had great regards for his people. And this man who filed the complaint happened to be a family friend of Mahajan. Mahajan wanted to show some people down and that's why he was closing in. But he was doing it at a steady pace. He did not want to overdo it. So the things were going on at a steady pace. But when Mahajan lost his position, he was now a wounded lion who wanted to take revenge. And things started progressing faster. This is what happened. And everything that was happening around it, Mahajan was very wisely using all his contacts and making sure that things took shape as it should. And the matters did make noise. But then the only problem that stood in the path was Mahajan could not come out in the open in public because some of Mahajan's dirty secrets were with these people. And if these secrets would come out, Mahajan would have no face to show to the society. Getting back to the topic on hand, the matter of the betting scandal took a different shape altogether when in February 2000, the police who were keeping a close eye on Kumar without his knowledge were able to trace from Kumar's phone one contact which brought everything to light. Who was this man and what was the connection? This man was none other than Sanjeev Chawla. And when the police began digging deeper, they were directed to Rajesh Kalra and Hansi Kronje. The frequency of calls between Kronje and Chawla was steady. But the calls were multiplied when matches that were scheduled were coming closer. The matters were so deeply interlinked that the police were losing track of what to do and what not to do. But then the biggest break through in the case came when Kronje's phone was updated. The police were pretty sure of everything by now and they started to tighten the noose. But then again, it was Indian police, said the man, despite having all the material to go all guns blazing, despite finding more than one connection to get to the deeper truths about Gulshan Kumar's death, the police were working at their own pace. When Kronje came out with his statements that he was introduced to Mukesh Gupta by Ajaruddin in 1996, Kronje's confessions are there in the media. We do not need to go all over it again, said the person. But what you need to know is that Kronje had over 70 accounts in the Cayman Islands and these bank accounts were never declared to the South African Revenue Department. If you study these accounts and the banks where Kronje held these accounts, you can connect to Adani and Amani as well. It would be difficult for me to say they were involved in the betting racket back then. But now, when I see how these businessmen have begun, showing interest in sports. It is it does say that there are a lot more chapters hidden here which need to be explored. However, I'm not sure how much of it could be true. But yes, we can always have this speculation, said the man. Moreover, to add to it, this man, Sanjeev Chawla, always made sure either him or one of his associates would check into the rooms where the respective cricket teams for the respective series would check in and try and negotiate with the players and then strike deals with bookmakers all around the globe. Minaji, I will stop it at here for now. I almost covered uh, yeah, yeah. all that I Absolutely. have decoded. Absolutely. And yeah. some of the stuff I haven't, I haven't even shared on Twitter yet. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Thank you for sharing this so much. And there's so much of information that has come out. So thank you for that. So it's clear, right? I mean, whatever yes, is yes. being read. Very clear. Very clear. The pronunciation and everything, there is no confusion yes, whatsoever. Yes, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So okay. thank you so much, uh, Deepti, for always coming and giving us this. And uh, also, you know, see our viewers are also very thankful to you. We are, as Sushan says, it's not his fight or my fight. It's our fight. Yeah. It's yeah. fight for our, for our society and for our future generations. Yeah. So it seems uh, these people were saying that uh, yesterday there was a, a you know a protest by uh, Barun Barun Kapoor the uh, the Smita Parikh gang you know the Lodpal gang uh, and uh, the sisters you know so uh, actually uh, I received a call from uh, San, uh, Sandeep Fogat and said that uh, uh, Meenadi you must. Uh, uh, also, you know, join us. Uh, so 
I said, see, uh, I can't join, I said, because uh, this is arranged by Varun Kapoor and uh, all this, uh, you know, other elements like Smita Parekh, uh, Nilod Pal and all are there. So he said, no, um, uh, uh, the sister Priyanka Di called and said, uh, Fogat, please join. So I said, why has uh, Priyanka Di not come on our channel? Okay, if she has not come on our channel, that means she does not want, you know, to discuss certain things. So I said, I cannot join a, a protest uh, where the people themselves are suspect. You see? Meenaji, I will just so tell I'll, you uh, one thing. Meenaji, I will just tell you one thing. It is very easy to, you know, create pressure on the CBI into, you know, taking the necessary actions and give some uh, update on what their investigations have so far uh, uh, brought in, brought, brought. But uh, the thing is that people are staying divided. They are organizing protests. Why not everyone get together and ask CBI what is taking it so long to they are check not the doing drives? The, they are ah, not doing what is needed. It. Yeah. Because in drives, the clearly it's mentioned that who all will be responsible if he yeah. is laid to rest. Yeah. What bigger evidence does one need? Okay. So we all, if everyone got together, okay, rather than making videos, maligning the drives Taking and everything. Taking candles and, uh, you know, uh, handkerchiefs and flowers and all this. Yeah. This is all bullshit. Okay. And this is all bullshit, see, actually. Just, you know. just ask. Just ask CBI. There are many people out there. Some are there in Delhi as well. And I have shared the CBS acknowledgement uh, letter as well. I mean, my acknowledgement of my application as well. Ask the CBI what is taking them so long. The last, yeah. the last I contacted and what is this, CBI uh, through. See, one of the one of the viewers has written that Mitu came in a bike. Now, see, this is not a, some sort of a Republic Day parade, you know, where you are trying to show your glamour or your this thing. No, and they are not talking about the word murder. Your brother has been murdered. And everybody has everybody knows exactly what has happened in this case. The only people no, who can solve it are is now the CBI. It no, is their doors what, that we should be knocking. Yeah, with what we have and with what I'm I am coming on the channel and I'm claiming. But neither the media covers it nor it's all it takes is that all of all the warriors to come together and you know, ask the CBI, what is taking it so long to validate? Because again, uh, recently, recently, I uh, I mean, we contacted CBI through another contact, I mean, to the same advocate, Arjun, Arjun Ranganathan, sir. And uh, we were told that uh, CBI's ITI team is not ready right now. They're not able to make the CBI's IT, IT team ready. And she has requested uh, uh, to give the appointment only when the IT team is ready. So. It's not possible anytime soon. Is what was the response that uh, they gave? To tell you so, the truth, uh, see, uh, uh, um, Deepti, what, what I feel is that, uh, you know, it's just that, see, people, many people are uh, for justice for Sushant. Uh, so just to make, uh, you know, put a veil over their eyes, the sisters are also playing part of it. That's it. I don't think sincerely that they have any, uh, you know, re real uh, this thing to go behind. It. Otherwise, they would have really gone to CBI and done this or gone to Supreme Court. So this is all just and, a, and, a and of course, wash and of course, or wash. And this is Shushant's work. Okay, I mean, they should have at least come forward. But as I told you, that I believe that they are being uh, controlled and monitored. And uh, no, no, no. You know, See, let us not go into pressure. that. Empty. This control and all, let us not go into this, okay? This is something much more than that, Deepti. Because see, even the same thing was said about, uh, uh, you know, this girl, uh, Disha's parents, you know, Disha's parents are going to pre president? Your daughter has been killed most brutally and you are saying that it is a suicide and you are going to president saying that hide the truth? What is this? Which parents will do that? Either you have been paid off or you are, you know, uh, just trying to, I don't know what you are trying to do. Please, uh, no mother, no Jia's mother, or uh, 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 Jhambi Kokrejna's mother, look at them. They are fighting from day one. What, what are these parents trying to do? Absolutely shameless. This is all I can say. And this is how I will end the show. Very, very disappointed with what Disha's parents have done. If there is proof that this woman has been murdered, 
The culprits have to be, have to face jail, and if they have to face death sentence, they have to face death sentence. Whether it is a politician, whether it's underworld, or whether it's Bollywood. Exactly. Uh, and Miraji, what is happening here is that these continuous attacks on the drives, continuous attacks. I mean, I mean we are facing a lot of problem actually. Uh, but so what is it? I mean, are they waiting for these drives to, uh, you know, uh, for one of the attacks to get successful and the drives to go out of my hand and then give an appointment? What are what is the CBI waiting for? All it See, needs yeah, for the people. Let me tell you one thing, now, Deepthi. Even if the drives are okay attacked and it is taken from your hand okay and even if they stifle the uh, the, uh, the drives at the moment let me tell you that the cbi and the other federal agencies have enough proof of what has happened okay now if the, if the pen drive from this rane is also there that is enough for them to solve the case but if money is the criteria that the federal agencies are you know uh, going to uh, look at and not justice, despite the fact that the public are paying them the, their salaries, then the leader of the country, the prime minister, has to look into this and say that, see, either you leave your jobs, we'll put a new set of, a new team, or something else. So it's not only that, Deepthi. I know what you are suffering. I know what, what, what's happening to the drives. But the truth is, these people have enough proof. Okay, they are just sitting it, or sitting on it like fat ducks. That's it. And the fatness comes out of the wealth that is being showered on them. Let them come out and say we are wrong. No, 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 no. No, they will. All we we'll get is royal silence. So I'm, ashamed. Is... I'm ashamed when I saw that scene where Isha's parents in front of the mayor talking like this. If it was my daughter, you know, I would have just cried. You know, you have a person from Shiv Sena or from uh, the, whichever party in Mahavika Sagari, you know, putting pressure point on me and saying that, see, you better say this. It's nonsense. So. Let's do what we can do, Minaji. Yeah, I that's mean, it. that's it. Of course, they have. I mean, what they could have given much more, much more uh, strength to this movement, and much more. You know, uh, this movement could have gained a lot. Riti, if they, Riti, you are saying that, ma'am, Disha's parents are not as rich as others' names you mentioned. Uh, Nidhi Kukreja is not rich. Okay, Nidhi is just a middle class person. Please do not give me all these sort of explanations. It is your daughter. Whose life was at stake? She was murdered most cruelly. There is proof. Now, uh, 10 other girls can be killed like her. Do you want that to happen? We care for the next generation. We care for our neighbor's daughter. We care for every daughter in India. We don't want this to happen. So please, Preeti, don't give us this sort of uh, message. It's a wrong message you're giving. And okay, again, see, whatever uh, 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 the, this one, uh, uh, Deepthi is conveying through the diaries, it's not Deepthi. It is Sushant. Sushant is telling you to stand and fight. Can't you do that? You're sitting behind a desk and telling, telling me that uh, the, the, the parents are not so rich. So you mean to say that accept the money from the underworld and keep quiet. So you have bought your daughter's life. Is that a good message that you're giving? We all have to do a lot of introspection and get together soon. Yeah. See, one because every word, you. every yeah. word of Sushant is, you know, like golden for this, for the kind of times we are living in. See, one thing let me tell you. Now she comes, Mitu comes on a motorbike. I'm not making fun of her. Mitu, when you were standing with Sandeep Singh, the day your, uh, your brother was killed most brutally, the day the police were trying to hide all the evidence, we were not sure 
whether you were his sister. Okay, people react in different ways. But the way Sandeep Singh was protecting you, there were a lot of doubts. Let not these doubts be, you know, uh, true. So let us let us just, if you want the uh, uh, truth, if you want uh, justice for Sushant, either you go to Supreme Court and say that CBI is not giving you any evidence, or they are not working on it, you know, or you go to CBI. These are the only two things that you, the sisters, can do if you want justice. And take us all along with you. We will all come with you. Don't go to Smita Parikh, Nilot Pal. These are people we don't trust. They can all they, they can even say that someone is claiming that our brother's work, it's our brother's work, kindly look into it if it's really his. At least they can do that. Yeah. So see, okay. I can always say Diti, see, people react in different ways. People are you know brought up differently in different environments, people react in different ways. But now the solution is only this. You pull up CBI or you go to Supreme Court. Now, don't tell us that Varun, Varun Kapoor in America, who has a small job in America, is going to help save you and give you justice. Or someone sitting in Australia, I mean, that's what I think that's where he is. Because yesterday when he called me, it looked like an Indian number, uh, Sandeep Fogat. So is Sandeep Fogat going to give you justice? No. Nobody is going to give you justice. Justice is something you have to fight for legally. You're a lawyer. You're a lawyer, you know all the loopholes. We have done everything. We have sent letters to the Prime Minister twice. We have sent a letter to the Supreme Court judge also. We are also doing our work, you know, simultaneously while fighting for Sushant. Don't think we are sitting quiet. But please don't ask us to join a procession headed by fake people, okay, who do not care a damn about it. It's the same lady you are, you are always coming on with who said that she was told that there was a huge pool of blood where Sushant was killed. Did she give this proof to CBI? Why does she not speak about this anymore? So these are things we do not trust. So let us not go into that tangent at all. If you want us to join a movement where such people are there, we cannot join. So please do not make such calls to me. I'm not interested. I'm fighting. Even if I have to fight a single battle, I will do it. In candid, candid uh, Mina, there are enough people, intellectuals, a lot of the people who are very sincere in their fight against, you know, all this nonsense. And we are there, you know, to fight for justice for Sushant. And we have people like Deepthi and we have Jia Khan's mother, uh, Nidhi Kukreja, all, all these people are with us. We'll do it. Even if it's only 50 people, we'll do it. But don't tell us to join a hypocritical you know, team who are coming on bikes. Perhaps tomorrow you'll hold the flag. Don't give us all this, what you call, paraphernalia. No candles, no flowers, no motorbikes are going to give you justice for Sushant. It has to come from the heart has to come from within. It's a pattern. You should feel that someone very close to you has been murdered most gruesomely. Then we will get justice. Sorry. Yes, no, I mean, other people, other people, I mean, the fans and those, even those people who want justice for genuine seeker of uh, seekers of justice for Sushant, they're coming out and in protest and holding rallies and everything is understandable. But uh, their sisters, his sisters have a more, they have a bigger role to play. Because they simply can't just stick to protests and all. They have to approach the Supreme Court or the CVC like uh, Rabiazi did to put pressure on the CBI. I and mean, all it takes to get this case, uh, get this, uh, you know, uh, Sushant's investigation into track is all of, all everyone, see, because I have been, it is not a secret channel that uh, is only open to few, everyone can see what I am climbing, I am tagging the authorities, I am tagging the agencies and saying that these are Sushant's slides. So all just everyone has to do is that validate it. 
if it is false then okay take action against me because i am misleading people in an ongoing investigation but this silence is not acceptable see let me people tell you one thing th yeah let me tell you one thing uh, viewers i am constantly in touch with nidhi kukreja and jia khan's mother okay yesterday or a day before yesterday nidhi kukreja's message came the case about you know bail for the one of the uh, you know guilty people again has been postponed to april look at how much they are interested in the death the murder of a young girl this is how it works in mumbai now in jia's case she has said that prabhi is going to come to uh, mumbai she has been she is being summoned by the court so we are constantly don't think we are only on ssr we are all, there on all these cases we, okay we don't want the limelight we are not here for limelight we are here to help you you know have a place where you can talk about your pain and this this is the venue where you can talk about it and reach out to the authorities and say that see this is happening to so many people we want justice my last request to prime minister through saffron was that you know see if you know that nitesh rani has got evidence in a pen drive of who who murdered raped and murdered disha if it is there the proof is there in the pen drive it is the duty of the leader who's in whose party this mla is to get that pen drive keep a copy and give the other copy to cbi and ask them what the hell they are doing and fast track the case if the leader cannot do that then he has failed his people and i respect modi ji Thank a you lot you know if modi ji doesn't do it he has failed the people because today ssr represents a smart a person who represents all of us our youth if it can happen to him it can happen to everyone it can happen to everyone i'm sorry diti this is you know uh, this is something i had to get across for quite some time people call no, no, me uh, to no. join these fake fake uh, uh, fake uh, events and these fake balloons and these fake park cards and these fake flowers i'm not for it Yes, me. Yes, me, Ajay. I mean, what you say very much reaches everyone because you speak from the heart. And uh, what I am sure, I am sure, a lot many people are watching your videos, but the numbers are not reflecting uh, the same. As Sushant said, that they have their hold over the social media and everything as well. Okay, some of them are coming. uh it has been disconnected so uh, friends my, uh, my uh, sort of uh, you know uh, what can, what more can i say about this except except that uh there's a lot of uh, disappointment you know and there's a lot of uh, anger you know yeah let me just add her yeah, yeah. there's a lot of sorry, disappointment and yeah. anger yeah 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 Didi. yes yeah. sorry i got disconnected Yes, yeah. there is a lot of uh, disappointment and anger, and yes, but people are not going to get tired this time. We will only keep asking louder and louder. The more the delay, the louder the voices should become. People should be ready for this. Yeah. Okay, Minaji. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, and good time. Yeah. Thank you thank so you much. Viewers. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for your thank noble you. work. And yes. Uh, the world today needs people like you the society today needs people like you wish shushant had met you or something or uh, but <laughs> you would have uh, have given the you would have got the right platform uh, anyway it's not too late it's not just legal justice that we should uh, be looking for shushant all of us he sacrificed his life for the betterment of all of us we should actually inculcate what he tried to tell us we should bring the change within ourselves that at least for that at least we don't have to depend on others it is on us right so we have to make ourselves strong
so let's get working on that and uh, with this yes we can give justice to sushant in our own way legal justice is not just the only justice of course we are not going to leave uh, that behind as well but yes also also one more last point before you go deepthi uh, just my message to uh, bollywood is that you can do all your hangama you can do all your drama to push your movies you can do all that you can you know sell as many fake weddings as you want you know you can get people who are not married to come back and marry again you can do all that but the day sushant singh was killed the seed was sown that people knew exactly what lies behind bolo and since that day till today we will not forget nor forget till all these people are put in jail okay and just like you know see in uh, earlier uh, you know mythology and all that you know great sages used to curse you know and to uh, people to become ashes now we can't do all that we are not subhuman or um, more than human okay but when collective voices like yours joins us when people like you who feel the pain the agony you know and fight that is equal to something as heavy as that so boycott bollywood is still on kartik please do not despair we are with you stand with the truth everybody joins you do not be disappointed every day you stand for the truth a hundred more join your hands okay so i am seeing those remarks and don't think i'm not with you we are all with you don't forget every night i come only to give you more courage so please stand with us and don't give up thank you good thank you very much thank you good night good night good night